Good day, class. Welcome to another lesson. Today's topic is balancing chemical equations. What are chemical equations? A chemical equation has the same number of each kind of atoms on both sides of the arrow. Remember, when atoms react in a chemical equation, they don't change, they just rearrange. The numbers and kinds of atoms present in the reactants are the same as those present in the products. This is the law of conservation of atoms. For a chemical equation to accurately represent a reaction, the same number of atoms in the reactant must be found as the same number of atoms in the products. How can you count atoms? The best way is to practice. Balancing chemical equation involves placing a coefficient. A coefficient is a number that is placed in front of it to indicate how many of each kind of atoms are taking part or being formed in a chemical reaction. Taking, for example, a reaction between hydrogen and chlorine. The reactant in this case are two diatomic molecules, H2 and Cl2. When hydrogen and chlorine react, they will form hydrochloric acid, which is here, HCl. But this equation is not balanced. In the reactant side, we have two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of chlorine. But on the product side, we only have one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine. In order to balance this equation, we must identify how many units of hydrochloric acid are being formed. In order to do that, we can place a number two to indicate that two units of hydrochloric acid are being formed, which is our coefficient. Now our equation is balanced. We have two hydrogen, which are represented in the H and H here on the product, and two chlorine, both on the reactant and on the product side, which is HCl. We are going to represent balancing chemical equations using models. For our model, we are going to react acetylene and oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. To build our model, we're going to use blue beads to represent carbon, pink beans to represent hydrogen, and yellow beads to represent oxygen. Acetylene is written as C2H2. Quite simple. So we have acetylene. It's going to be reacting with oxygen. Oxygen, as you know, is a diatomic element. So it's written as O2. So we have oxygen. Now, this reaction will yield carbon dioxide, CO2, that's carbon dioxide, and water, H2O, which is water. Let's imagine that I start by giving you the amount that you need to mix up acetylene and oxygen. I will be giving you two compounds of acetylene. Remember, to build acetylene, we have two blue carbons, so C2, H2. So that's one compound, one unit for that and two units of acetylene. And they are going to be reacting with oxygen. So oxygen is O2, and I will give you five units of oxygen. So we start with this, and these are our reactants. So we have four, and now five. Good. In order to make a chemical reaction, remember, we just rearrange the atoms that we have in our formula. So in order to produce carbon dioxide, we just need to add carbon and two oxygen. We have one unit of carbon dioxide, but we still have some more carbon, so we're gonna keep building our carbon dioxide. So one carbon, CO2, another carbon, CO2, I'm going to move my carbon up, another 
carbon CO2. So in this compound for carbon dioxide, we see that we were able to make one, two, three, four. So we place a coefficient number four in front of our compound. Next, we need to make water. For water, we need hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen was pink, so we need H2, so that's two hydrogen, and one oxygen that we have left from our oxygen. H2 and one oxygen that we have left. We were only able to make, this was a side, we're only able to make two water molecules. So that is what we place here. Remember, we use coefficients, which are represented as numbers, in front of the compound that we're making to represent how many units we are making. We started with 2 acetylene and 5 oxygen atoms. This is now the complete and balanced chemical equation. If you can prove it, we're able to see that on the reactant side, we have 2 times 2. We have 4 carbon, hydrogen, we have 2 times 2, that's 4 hydrogen. Oxygen, we have 5 times 2, that's 10 oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have carbon, 4 it's supposed to be a 1, so 4 carbon. The oxygen is affected by the coefficient here, so 2 times 2, that's 8 oxygen. But we still need to add the, all the oxygen that we have here, that is affected by the 2 here, the coefficient. So 2 times 1 here, that's 2. So plus this 2, that's equal to 10 oxygen now. And hydrogen is going to be 2 times 2, 4. Our equation has been proven to be balanced because it contains the same number of atoms from both sides, on the reactant as well as on the product side, to be the same. Carbon is 4, hydrogen is 4, and oxygen are now 10. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.